Hello everybody, it's Bean Sonic here, and we're back in the Back to the Future of the Game, episode 1. It's about time, this is our third part to trying to figure this out. We are in the soup kitchen, Marty McFly over here trying to get some hooch. Ah! Get it? Get it? Ah! You see, in the, in the, oh, more is coming in. Okay. So, what we found out the epi last episode, the, the last part, and I figured it out, but I just probably wasn't able to get I probably wasn't able to do it yet because so what so so what that pipe is that pipe leads down to the actual whatever whatever down there probably either a booze room or probably some kind of liquor I don't know so we're gonna we're gonna get you cue ball what is it kid I need you to go and put some. I still think the soup needs more flavor. So are you gonna go and pick? Uh, let's see. He's either gonna pick. Uh, what what did he pick? Vadish or some kind of? Yeah, vadish. So we're gonna go and. Okay, cue ball. Cue ball. <clears throat> Please. There it is. And tell kid that soup or no soup, he's not fooling. So what this is is that there is supposedly the whiskey that we gotta use to power the rocket drill to break our dark brown. So we already have it already planned. Supposedly, unless it got changed, we are meeting the Stay Sober Society at the uh, the Dark Browns mansion. That is the deal that it was supposed to transpire. Emmett. Yes. We'll score that hooch. I'll keep calm. So we already got the hooch. They call it hooch. I like to call it well liquor, alcohol, booze. I like to call it booze. But they called hooch, which is probably what they used to call it back in the day. I wouldn't know. I like the word hooch. It seems more like a. I don't like the word alcohol, whiskey. I mean, I like hooch. It seems. It don't seem so, you know, hooch. Anyways, so. We should be able to move this episode along now without bugging me for the longest time when I load in the whole guy went over there spooting. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Okay. I got a book. So, okay, so I'm going to go talk to Doc Brown over here. Let's see. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. I we already have it. Okay, so Okay, so Edna Strickland. I'm a, I'm a, I, I know that. Emmett does. I mean, it's fine. See, hey, uh, Miss Strickland. It was something that just, that just... I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. 
That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. There they go. She gonna go to the. She gonna go to Emmett's. Wait there. Harry, what in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, oh, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They, I could say they're, they're friendly, they're well-behaved. I mean, they are, they are well-behaved. They're really polite. We don't know that. They're a bunch of really great guys. We don't know that. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but I, needs his I, I didn't see that be the answer. It's sure to be too noisy for him. He can, he can. He can wear, he can wear earplugs. Oh, what's wrong with noise? What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. <laughs> Partying time. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes. I play my tambourine. It'll yes. probably be the yellow one. You hear that? Yes, but. But what? But it's still impossible. Well, okay, so here, I could say, but I promise Miss Strickland, okay, but here what I'm going to say, I but think it a stay sober society. Stay sober society, what will happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! Oh! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Oh my god. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. He, ne he never, he never did get, he never was, uh... I've got a never bad feeling dated Emmett Emma Brown. You never dated much, anybody. But... Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. So we're going to go to Doc Brown's lab. Uh, if we can go. Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good. Come on, let's go. Time waits for no man. You know, Emmett, he looks so different younger than he does now. He, he looks like Einstein with the with the white. They're probably like white, what he kind of supposed to. Now, sure we're in his work? drill. Oh my, look at this the drill. the shackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Oh, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot. Extremely hot. The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. Any questions? There could be a chat that is. Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You turn to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him. Tend to the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But uh, coming, father. Father. Oh. 
Don't you father me, child? I don't don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. <laughs> you don't know what called. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? There we go. Okay, so we gotta listen to Dark Brown keyword. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Okay. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Whoa. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. May I? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Alright, that good, good job. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Eating you up, good, lovely. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. Bags of gas. By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? Uh oh. Oh no. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. Sorry. Another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Bins. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Oh, arguing in there. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. But what are you bl splatter? Oh, spl what? Oh man, I Doc, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Are you talking to in there? No one, father. Maybe your burning passion, Father. See, I don't like a missing. Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? Feed the duck, Father, please. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Pressure? All room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. <laughs> I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Ah, <laughs> uh, halfway there. Oh my God, we're not even there yet. Keep up the good work. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Daughter, go feed your ducks. By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? The Van Brons have been officers of the court. Why, wow, it's I uh, really, really. First gave rise to men, Emmett. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative hindquarters? Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it! I'm not through with you yet. I... 
Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Father, why don't you ever listen to me? Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Oh my god. Okay. Alrighty. I thought you were a scientist. Damn it. I am a scientist, Doc. Don't worry about that, huh? If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. Don't fire me? Good. Alright, here we go, Doc. Uh. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Ah, uh, yeah, da. Dealing me up inside, da. Pressure? Okay, there we go, da. Oh, no. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Sorry, da. Why are you always bellowing at me? Pressure! Bellowing? Child, you don't know anything about pressure! Oh no! Oh. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Yeah, duh! Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that, duh! Doing that, doc. Don't, don't worry about it, duh! Do you know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Why do you keep bellowing like that? <laughs> so there might be certain words that he's saying that don't mean anything. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? You can't help. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. <laughs> Your ancestors are spent Wow. Grave. Fed me? Is it fed? You do. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Are you trying to spin this argument around to my failings? Sunday. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Okay. Talking. Sisters are spinning in their graves right now. Yes, there is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, Father. Father, why don't you ever listen to me? <laughs> why must you always scatter a condescension my way? Oh, Mother, and I are so Twinkle. Your young man. <laughs> yes. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Why do you keep bellowing like that? Mm. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. What will it take? Oh, so bla bla what is what is this bladder bladder? Just pay attention to what I say. Hey, oh my god. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? You didn't like it. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Stop being such a crank! Don't burn your cranking! Oh, we're gonna be cranking. 
Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. The Vambrons have been bags of gas. God's heavenly spark must give rise to gas in here. Food and there we go. We're gonna go feed off more, some more food. A release valve. We're gonna be uh, the release valve. Yes. God, their father is so salty. Microorganism for law. Oh, microorganism, babe. Who spins around you like a top. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Bladder. But I don't want to stand the bladder, the bladder in yolk, yolk desserts. Splatter, bladder. Now it's getting a lot quicker, too. He's spinning it up a bit. So he's getting a little bit harder. Alright, we gotta go shake in here some food. There we go. No. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Oh, I'm sorry, Doc. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. I name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. I don't know it's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Stop being such a crank. Wait, she Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Why are you always bellowing at me? I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in? Pressure? Listen to the words I'm I saying. am, Doc. Doc, man, come on, Doc. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! Oh, I hit the wrong button! No, I meant to hit the crank and then hit the fire. Dude! I didn't do anything, dude! Just go and yip and yap and tell me some more stuff. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Current? Alright, oh, I like the current. On your mouth somewhere, there is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Do you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Vent. Vent. Is that like a vent? Vent. What? Just pay attention to what I say. God, I'm having trouble with this. I just think I think I shouldn't be. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Why must you always scatter a condescension my way? Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Maybe I should just Oh no. Pressure. Pressure valve. I thought you were a scientist. Hey! Do my best, huh? Oh, what 
use as a microorganism for long. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Well, if it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and yolk gizzards. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire! Platter and yolk desserts. Maybe that's not even anything that you have to do. Platter and yolk desserts. Okay, so maybe the platter and yolk desserts are just... Maybe it's those instincts that really aren't... Pressure. Pressure. Just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years, lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There. Hot air. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Yep. Hotter you get, the more I know I'm hotter, hot. Why must you always scatter condescension my way, pressuring me to be something I'm not? I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Current, that's a current. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, Father. By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? Did it, Galileo? I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. About time. Hey, you and your Whew. Sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh, what? Oh no. Eureka. Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can I can take it and go. But don't you wanna test it first? No time. The uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. Alright. You've gotta get this baby to the US patent office. Yeah, not really. We're gonna go break our Doc Harry. Brown. Well I expect to hear back from the patent the office. The future Doc Brown. In a week. One week. Oh, in about, <laughs> I'd say... A week. I, I can't. Huh? Damn it, I, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but wow. I need to save him tonight, and, and I need your invention to do it. So, sure. cool beans. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're going to be a great inventor. We you know what if you would have said that Keep the throttle at about eight. Doc Brown, don't worry, you're gonna create the DeLorean. Where this whole entire game wouldn't be possible. Well, thank you though. Okay, Doc, Dr. Let's get you out of here. Dr. Jomangus, if it's a uh, Whoa. Harry. You're too late. Too late. The doc's not supposed to be. Doc. They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. That was too late.
paddy wagon intercepted, suspects slain, and they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Oh no. Ah. Edna Strickland bike. There's no way Edna's bike is gonna be fast enough to catch up with that paddy wagon, or is there? Yeah, put the put the rocket power hmm. on there. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. So yeah, now I'll bring back your bike tomorrow morning or something. I'm busy gonna go rescue Doc. Here we go, boy. Okay. So here we go. Gas, yeah, 17 cents. Okay, so you're still in danger, Doc. We gotta get you out of here. Oh, stop. I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here and we'll talk later. Door. Go right. We're gonna go. I think I can go to the right. Or it looks like I can. I did the key. Keys. The window shut tight. I right, go uh, go to the left. No, I can't get over there. Maybe it's somewhere to the right. Oh, toolbox. There's a toolbox over there. Okay, let's go over there. Go to the back. Go over here to the left. Oh, let's see. When the party to utilize that tire wrench. Okay, we're not gonna throw the hubcap there, but that will be ridiculous. But maybe gonna go this way here. Maybe the hubcap here. Okay, let's uh, go back up there and let's go and make ourselves known. I don't 
think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. I get that. Okay, so... Jeez. How do I get him? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. I know that. That's like rocket scienting. I hate doing this. Nothing, okay. Oh. Wow. Well, let me see here. It won't budge. Okay. There we go. A reach extender. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do it. A reach much. extender. No, I wanna go I wanna go to the left. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm thinking that there's something here I'm going to need. I'll be back. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. There's something that I'm not I'm not, I'm not getting here. Oh, the antenna! 
Ah, look it up there like I need something to connect that to. So maybe if I use the antenna for it. Oh, what I need the hot cap for? Probably nothing. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Okay, let's go here and let's try to make it, let's try to make a distraction. No good, the window's shut. Keys. I understand that. I need to go and do something with that, which is making me wonder. Okay, I need... I don't know what we gotta do, and we gotta create a distraction. Uh, not sure what that'll do. Gotta keep him from looking my way. Okay, why is this here give me such a problem? Okay. Not sure what that'll do. Okay. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Up my picture of dad like that. Oh, that's his dad. Uh, weird. I don't know, like, what to do that you're gonna get somebody in here to go. I mean, this is uh, maybe.
Okay, so then what this so Oh There we go. Oh, so we need a distraction. It was Doc Brown we should have asked. No, I don't even go in here, screw up. I need I need another distraction. He didn't even know I'm back there, though. We're gonna go and open this up, though. Stand back, Doc. Marty! Marty! Oh, no! No, 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 no. Whoa. How you doing, Doc? He's legs taken. Oh. Well, we got something, Doc. We got Kit, Kit Tannen's gun. There we go. Oh, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Yeah, what do we do, Doc? We get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh... Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! 
to be continued. Oh, part two, baby. Part two, but we're not going to get to part two now. Part two, uh, episode two uh, will be next episode. We're going to start episode two next time. So this should end in the next episode. Here we go. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Wow. How good. So, that ends episode, uh, episode one. It's about time. Uh, we'll get, uh, that was great. I loved it. Very, very good episode. We're gonna get to the, uh, second one here. Not now. Next, next time. This was fun, fun. 41 minutes of, uh, of enjoyment. And, uh, that, that should wrap this up. Thank you all for tuning in to this, and uh, if you like that, hit the like button, hit that, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get up to date news on Fiend Sonic. Thank you all, and bye-bye, and ta-da.